Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, power meters and uh, one of the functions in particular that you can do with them and that is remote uh, data logging. A lot of your meters will feature some type of a communication, either MSTP or BACnet, it just depends on the meter that you purchase. Uh, one of the things that's real common among the majority of meters out there is a pulsed output, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Recently we had to do some reconfiguring on one of the meters that has been uh, recently installed uh, during a renovation and we had to change the resolution of the pulse output so where we could get a little bit more accurate reading. So what I want to do on this video is just to take you with us as we do that process. What we're doing here in this uh, video is we are taking a pulse output which was configured for one pulse per kW and we're actually going to shrink that down a little bit. The system that the meter is on just does not really consume a lot of power, so it is something that uh, to get an accurate reading we needed to tighten up the resolution. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. What we're doing with this meter is adjusting the resolution. We're actually going to tighten it up make it a little finer. The way that we do that from our home screen is you will scroll over down to the, at the bottom. You'll see the soft keys down here at the bottom. This arrow indicates that there are more options available. You'll scroll over until you get to the maintenance option. Press the soft key just under it. Now then, what we're going to go in to configure this is the setup screen. Press setup. It's going to ask for a password. That password will depend on how yours is configured. Uh, you may need to contact the uh, whoever installed the meter to get the correct password, but for this one we're going to enter our password. Now that we have our password entered, we're going to scroll over until we reach the I.O. setup, which is right here. This is what we're wanting. We're using the output from this meter, so I'm going to press I.O. I am going to press out because we're looking for an output. Now then, it is currently figured for pulse to pulse at one pulse per kW, per kWh. We're going to increase the resolution on that because there is a very light load on this. So I'm going to press my edit button. I am then going, you can see the pulse flashing. I'm not changing that, so I'm just going to press OK. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to press the up arrow to increase that to 1. It's going to be 0 0.01 kWh per pulse. I'm then going to press my over arrow, press it again, and then I'm going to run this all the way up until it goes back to 0. Once I get that at 0, I press OK. I now simply press my back button. We're in IO setup. I press it again. I, we're in setup mode. I press it again, and it's going to ask me to save changes. I press yes. Once you press yes, you will see that it saves and resets, and then it will go back to your normal operation screen. Now then, within the Metasys extended architecture system, we have to adjust the resolution in there as well. So I'm going to go into the meter. I'm going to press edit. The resolution point that I need to change right now is the pulse consumption. Right now it is at 1 kWh. I need to change that to match what we have now entered in the meter. So I simply highlight it, delete out the old one, 0 0.01, and then hit save. Once I do that, after a short period of time, we should start reading the correct consumption from that meter. The reason this meter was changed is because the usage from that meter is so light we are not getting an accurate reading. So changing the resolution should help to get an accurate reading from this meter. Now we're going to compare the readings from the meter to what we are currently showing on our Metasys extended architecture system. What I'm going to do there is simply press the power button 
it shows me that we're currently using 2KW and now we will compare that to Metasys. Just went between two to three, so we'll just compare those. On Metasys, you can see that we are currently showing 2.4 you need to remember that the meter itself is live in your circuit and may show much more rapid changes in the load than what the data logger does. Depending on your meter, some meters will actually average out the load and then others like this one in this video actually was showing live current changes. I mean you can see the change in the uh, wattage demand right there on the meter. That change as rapid as it was does not show up in the data logger, you know, Metasys extended architecture. But the readings are very consistent. It, uh, it basically averages out the readings that we're getting from the meter. If this video was helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to drop me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. <laughs>